And welcome to another week of Georgia Southern Football. I'm Josh Aubrey coming to you from Paulson Stadium as the Georgia Southern Eagles get set to take on the Tuscaloosa Pioneers. The Eagles are coming off a big win on the road at Sanford. Their season and conference opener, they're ranked number two in the nation. They're taking on Division II Tuscaloosa. The Pioneers throw the ball quite a bit. They also are quarterbacked by Frankie DeBusk, who quarterbacked the Furman Paladins to a championship over the Eagles back in 88. It's a long time from then to now, but maybe a little payback in the cards as well. Let's send you out for the action. Georgia Southern hitting the field before a crowd of over 20,000 at Paulson Stadium as they are taking on the Tusculum Pioneers. The Eagles come out of the gates hot as Jabo Shaw goes 25 yards for the score and quickly it's 7-0 Eagles. The offense going back to action and Jabo Shaw having a nice game through the air over 100 yards passing. Here he hits control of showers deep into Pioneer territory from there. The give is to J.J. Wilcox and he turns the corner 13 yards for the touchdown and the Eagles extend their lead to 14 to nothing. Moving ahead and the defense coming up with a big play here. Pressure on the quarterback. Derek Hyden comes up with the interception. More from the Eagle defense and Michael Butler in for another sack. As we move ahead to the second quarter, Georgia Southern Defense coming up big again. Josh Gephardt slams the door. The shutout intact. Back on offense, and it's Jabo Shaw to Jarek McKinnon. The 38 yard touchdown pass makes it 21 0. Looks like the Eagles were going to run away with this one, but Tusculum comes back with two unanswered touchdowns themselves. The Eagles add a field goal just before the half and take a 24-14 halftime lead. Second half belong to the Eagles. Nice pitch there from J. Bo Shaw to Robert Brown. Brown with 70 yards rushing on the night. Later it's Jonathan Bryant going 11 yards for the score. The extra points good, 31-14 Eagles. J. Bo Shaw continues to go up top, this time to J.J. Wilcox down inside the 15-yard line. That would lead to this. The give to Robert Brown, and Brown off to the races. 12 yards for the score. The lead extended to 38-14. The Eagles then try a little trickery here for some reason on the kickoff. But this one backfires as Matt Levine goes 38 yards for the score on the onside kick. The lead cut to 38-21, but then the Eagles go back to the air. Check out the hit. But Jonathan Bryan able to hang on, gets the ball down deep, and then Jarek McKinnon in at quarterback, goes in for the touchdown. McKinnon stays in at quarterback as we move ahead to the fourth quarter, and he'll hand off to Dominique Swope, who goes in for his first collegiate touchdown. The Eagles continuing to blow things out. As Izzy Uyut in at quarterback for the finishing touch, Georgia Southern rolls 62 to 21 the final. Up next, we'll have some post-game comments. This newscast is brought to you in part thanks to Ogeechee Technical College, education with purpose. Call today 681-5500 or visit them online at ogeecheetech.edu. What's your purpose? You can find it at Ogeechee Technical College. With over 120 programs of study, hands-on training, affordable tuition, and flexible schedules, find your path to a successful career by enrolling at Ogeechee Tech today. For more information on any of our programs of study, call 681-5500, visit our campus, or check us out on the web at ogeecheetech.edu. Ogeechee Technical College, education with purpose. That offense, man, they got there and they, they did what they had to do and got the job done well. I mean, then they go out and put up that many points, it really, it really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. And uh, we just have to go out there and get a couple of stops and for them to put up those points. I mean, it's a great feeling. Offensively, we did well. Um, offensive line, our offensive line went out and played their keys. Um, a backs made their plays, and look at the B backs, um, we made plays also. So um, offensively, offensively as a whole, I feel like we did pretty good. We can always, you know, we're going to go back on the film. and and look at it on Monday, and you can always play better, but, you know, it was a bunch of different guys touched the ball, a bunch of different guys, you know, scored, so that was, that was good on offense, and like I said, we can always play better. That's a team that, that uh, you know, they've got 25 scholarships, and we've got 63 scholarships, and they're slugging around with us, like, you know, it, 
there, there are two teams that are in the same league. It shouldn't be that way. I thought, uh, I thought our guys did a great job in the second half. It would be 24-10. to 10. Is that what it was at halftime? 24-14, 10 points at 24-14 at halftime to be able to, to put 62 on the board and, and, uh, and hold them out of the end zone on defense I thought was really encouraging. But we've got a lot of improvements to get. We've got a long, long way to go to, to be the kind of football team that, that I'd like for us to have and the kind of team we're going to need to have to be able to, to contend for, for the Southern Conference. This is a great league. And, uh, and we're going to have to play better than we did last week and better than we did tonight.